crash scenes aren't pretty. When you drive past one and see someone being cut from a car, it's always disturbing. More than 3,000 people are killed on Britain's roads each year. There are 30 million cars on the road, more than ever before, and that increases your chances of being involved in an accident. If you are involved in one, you've just got to hope that it doesn't end up looking something like this. The environment and taxation may be the current hot topics, but vehicle safety is still high on the agenda for all manufacturers. For Volvo, vehicle safety is part of its DNA. When Volvos went boxy in the 70s and 80s, people didn't mind because they knew they would stand a fighting chance of surviving in the event of an accident. The Swedish company is still championing its safety credentials and is constantly developing systems designed to prevent you being involved in an accident, not just protect you in the event of one. We're at a Volvo seminar in Sweden where they're showing off their latest safety gizmos. The S80 saloon I'm sitting in is fitted with collision warning and auto brake. It does what it says on the tin. What that means is if it thinks I'm going to have a collision, a light appears on the dashboard and I get an audible warning. If I still don't do anything, it applies the brakes for me. Now that's fine in theory, but let's put it into practice. This can help to reduce the impact of a crash. If the driver does not react to the warning and the system senses a collision is imminent, auto brake is activated to stop the car. It may not be able to avoid an accident, but it can be decisive so that the driver and passengers receive only minor rather than major injuries. Now in this Volvo XC90 is the snappily titled Pedestrian Mitigation Collision System. Now let's give it a try and see how it works. It operates in a similar way to collision warning. The car uses an infrared sensor and camera to detect when a pedestrian has moved into the path of the car. It will only apply the brakes if it sees a sizeable object, so it will keep going if something like a bird or football moves into the path of the car. Another clever system Volvo has developed is collision avoidance by auto steering, and the idea is to reduce the number of head-on crashes. Now instead of applying the brakes in an emergency situation, this system steers around what it thinks is going to be a potential problem, and puts you back on course. Now we have an obstruction up here, and hopefully the steering wheel will take over. And it does. 30% of fatal accidents are alcohol related. Quite rightly we should have zero tolerance, but a driver may not be aware that he's got alcohol in his blood. He may have had a glass of wine with a meal and think he's okay to drive, when in fact he's not. This is Volvo's AlcoGuard. It means the driver is able to effectively breathalyse himself. Now I haven't had any alcohol today, but last night I had a couple of glasses of wine with a meal. I'll blow into this handset and a message will appear on the display to tell me if I'm okay to drive or not. If I'm over the limit, the car won't start. Ultimately, driving safely and responsibly is down to the driver. But the systems we've seen here today should help reduce the number of accidents on Britain's roads. Volvo's long-term goal is to have zero accidents. That may seem unrealistic, but these systems could make road deaths a thing of the past.